Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from. My name is Pastor Ocean Amandishe, as usual, and I welcome you uh, to this session where I'm going to share with you the vision that I saw. But before I share the details of the vision, I just want to encourage our viewers and everyone who is listening to this message to understand why sometimes we call for prayer when we saw a certain vision that may need us as a church or as a board of Christ or as intercessors to pray. The scripture that I'm going to share with you will give us reasons. Then I'll quickly move to the details of the vision. If you read the Bible in Genesis chapter 18, you will understand that God visited Abraham and Abraham was considered the friend of God. And he visited him in a form of angels and he could speak to him because he considered Abraham his friend. So when God visited Abraham, he was talking and he was giving a word concerning his family, uh, concerning the promised uh, uh, child, a uh, child of promise who is Isaac. But if you read from verse 20 down to 33, God uh, changed the story and he was now speaking concerning Sodom. And he said, I'm going to Sodom because the cry and the iniquity has reached me. So I want to find out what I'm going to see there and to see what I can do. Then Abraham realized that uh, there was judgment that was coming against Sodom. And uh, he knew that his, his brother or his cousin or his nephew Lot had moved to Sodom. And he understood very well that uh, uh, he was not going to be spared if God has decided to bring judgment upon the land or upon the seat of Sodom. So he started to intercede and asked God that if you find people like 50 in the city, are you going to destroy um, uh, the righteous ones together with unrighteous ones? And God said, I'm not going to do so. God promised Abraham that I'm not going to destroy even 40 until Abraham reached to 30 to say, if you find to, to 10 rather, if you find 10, are you going to destroy? Then God said, if I find 10 there, I'm not going to destroy the city. However, we know that Sodom was destroyed, which means God did not find, uh, God did not find 10 righteous people in the city. And how sad it is that in the whole city, God could not find even 10 so that the city would be spared. So we know that what happened and Sodom was destroyed um, with the, the details that you may find if you read the Bible. Now, my point is that God, Abraham managed to intercede so that there can be um, a, a mercy upon you. His, 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 his relatives, they can be mercy upon his brethren and the righteous ones that would be found in that city, which happened because God managed to save uh, Lot uh, despite that he, Lot was right there in Sodom. He was spared. He was removed by angels who went there and took him out before the city was destroyed. It was because Abraham stood in the gap and this is the message that I want us to know, that sometimes when God determines to bring judgment or to say, I'm going to do this, this is going to happen. Surely, some of the things cannot be stopped. God, you can't stop God if he decided to do something. But we can pray and intercede so that certain things can be minimized and stopped. It may be the damage or the extent of the damage may be minimized and God can hear. Also, the other scripture that also reveals how God was also hearing even Moses when he cried and interceded for the children of Israel. This is the point I want to make so that when I share this vision, people will understand because I am going to call for a prayer after that. Now, the details of the vision, I saw stones coming from heaven and they were hitting people. And these stones were different sizes of stones. So when these stones uh, were reaching on the ground, I saw the wind taking those stones again and picking the stones, grouping them together and as a wind like blowing up in the air and they condensed it like clouds and they came down again and start to hit people all over the place. And it was not a good, uh, it was not a good view. 
and uh, people were running uh, looking for for safety because these stones were heavy so when i saw that the wind was lifting these stones and them to condense like rain i just thought this is a hailstone this is a hailstones and nothing uh, can be like stones so i continued to pray uh, after uh, after i received that vision until I realized that, you know, God, when he wants to show something, if it's a hailstone, he would say it's a hailstone. So I, 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 I understood and I left it like that to say it could be stones that are coming and to rain upon the, upon the earth. So let me uh, move with this vision. Let me uh, explain other details. So as I was uh, seeing this vision, I ended up joining the elders who were moving in a group and they were going to a setup which was like a court, a traditional uh, setup, a court to judge certain men uh, men who, who were committing crimes in the land. But as we were moving together, the word came and said, uh, the judgment is coming upon the land. As, as we were moving uh, with these elders of people going there, and the word came and said, the previous floods that hit the land were cleaning the blood of the people who were killed in the land. So I was uh, troubled and said, uh, is the judgment coming again in the form of stones after these floods? Can God spare the people in such, in such a, a, a situation? Um, it was not good for people to experience what I saw, to see stones coming upon, raining upon people. So I found myself sitting together with these elders and I was listening. I was like part of them, but I was not part of them. Maybe it's because God wanted me to hear what was being discussed there. So they were discussing and there were men uh, uh, being um, trialed for committing crimes like uh, uh, killing uh, women and abusing children. Asked, what do you want? What judgment do you want? Do you want to fall in the hands of God? Do you want to repent? And said, I want to repent. But it was a continuation of this vision when I of this vision where I saw stones coming hitting people as judgment which was coming upon the land. Now, because God did not give me uh, which nation, I want you people who are listening to hear me very well. If God does, does not give me details, I always tell people that I did not receive. Uh, to say which nation and which specific country but because I was I always pray for Zimbabwe and South Africa I just thought this is maybe in the area uh, in, 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 in the area on the confinement of uh, of the prayers that I'm praying for especially for the nation of Zimbabwe and South Africa and if we check I realized that in, uh, in Zimbabwe there were floods this year uh, that happened in the raining season again and it damaged uh, certain uh, property and crops and so forth in South Africa we also witnessed uh, some 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 flood that came so I want you to uh, know that I'm not going to say uh, Zimbabwe or South Africa I will leave it like that but what I want us to do uh, those who are hearing me is to pray for the nation of Zimbabwe and also to pray for the nation of South Africa so that this judgment or this vision that I saw uh, of stones raining of stones literal stones will not come and destroy uh, and have impact the reason and uh, we know that you don't know where this stone is going to hit it can hit your brother your family or your your relatives sometimes when we have enemies we may wish that let it happen to them but sometimes when these things happen we always have casualties and we don't want go we don't want such things to happen but because god has given us a mandate to pray also to ask for mercy we can pray to say as much as he may want to execute his judgment because of what is happening probably in the land of maybe the crimes that are happening in the land and um, in the land or in the in the nations we may stand and say lord have mercy and i just want to speak to men who are hearing me because in that vision that was a continuation it this was not to vision uh, 
because there was a, a, a court, so to speak, that was interrogating, trying men, probably the message is also going to men, it is also going to men to say those who are abusing women, those who are killing women, those who are abusing children must stop because judgment is coming to them if they don't do, if they don't repent. But however, on the broader picture, we don't know uh, what God uh, wants to, to do and why God is are speaking like this and what is going to happen because this vision might come to pass I, I, I have to do a research to find out if there is any raining of stones because I saw stones coming down on earth and I thought it was hell stones but I realized that uh, it, they were stones, literally brown stones coming and hitting people. So I just want to appeal and speak to uh, intercessors and those who always pray uh, to say, let's pray for our nation in Zimbabwe. Also, let's pray for South Africa so that God uh, will have mercy. And those who have not uh, put their life right with God, they must also pray, especially men, the message to men. They must not abuse women and also abuse children. I think it was a message to men to say, don't spill blood of women and children. It may mean uh, um, more as I continue to pray. I believe God is going to reveal that because I, I never saw such a, I never saw such a thing where stones were raining, hitting people not as a rain uh, hailstones but as stones literally so i i believe that uh, if the church prays something can happen but if god determines to come and bring his judgment we cannot stop him but we can only ask him for mercy remember god heard the prayer of of abraham and he spared his uh, his his cousin or his nephew lord because he he prayed if he remained silent probably Lot was going to be destroyed together with the people in Sodom. So people should understand the importance of intercession. So people of God, this is the message that I wanted to share with you. And let's continue to pray so that God will have mercy upon the nations. This time I also want to give opportunity. If you never gave your life to Jesus Christ, I believe that it is also time that you must also take serious decision so that God can spare your life. May God bless you as you continue to pray, as you continue to follow the messages that are coming as, I, as they will be revealed with the Lord. For those who have not subscribed, kindly subscribe so that when we upload some of the messages, you'll be able to see them or you can set a notification button. Reason, people must understand that if you subscribe, it's easy for you to receive messages. And also it helps us to continue to upload these messages as God will be revealing uh, to, to us as we pray. May God bless you. Uh, see you in the next session where I'm going to come with other four messages that the Lord has already um, given me. And some of the time I may take time to, up, uh, to, to bring them because I have to come and uh, um, make some videos. But the messages will be there. But I have to make some videos so that people can watch or can hear. So may God bless you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for listening. Let's pray and see what God can do for us. In Jesus' name, amen.